Assalamu alaikum, peace and blessings be with each and every one of you. Welcome to another segment of Understanding Islam. This is a brief video series where we are highlighting some key concepts of the religion of Islam to better understand the religion itself. Now today's segment, segment number three, we are discussing the topic of prophets and divine books. The one who makes something, the one who invents something, the one who creates something, they know best exactly how their invention is to be used. They know exactly what's good for their invention and what's bad. They know exactly what would be correct and what would be incorrect for their invention and their creation. We are a creation of God. As humans, we are an invention of God. Therefore, God knows best what's good for us and what's not good for us. He knows exactly where our guidance is and where would we be considered misguided. Now, God has made an arrangement for our guidance in two ways. The first is God has sent and selected prophets, messengers. And second is that He has sent to these messengers revelation, divine books, divine revelation. Now, these prophets, their responsibility and their obligation is twofold. They convey the message, they convey the revelation and the books to us. And number two is that they practically demonstrate the revelation to us. They practically demonstrate how we are to apply this revelation of God in our day-to-day -day lives. So these prophets, when they practically demonstrate to us, it becomes easier for us to not only comprehend, but also to apply into our day-to-day -day lives. And the reality of the matter is, if God left us to only the book, to only the information, it may have been more difficult to comprehend and to apply. But God didn't just leave us to the book and the information, He also uh, sent down these prophets that they display to us on a practical level how we apply the guidance. Every one of these human, every one of these prophets, they are humans. Every prophet of God was a human, including the, the prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings upon him. The Quran tells us that they were humans. Now, just like we are humans and we require guidance, these prophets also require the very same guidance that they receive. They also humble themselves and submit themselves to God. They also turn to God in supplication, in worship, and in prayer. Uh, now, any prophet that has been selected, they are chosen by God. A human being just doesn't just get up one day and make the choice that they are prophets. Prophets are selected and chosen by God. And these selected chosen servants of God, they receive the revelation and thereafter convey that message to us and also display how to apply that message and that revelation. No prophet can bring a verse or a miracle on their own. It has to be from God. God sends the revelation. He sends the miracle and He sends the message or the book to these prophets. Now, the responsibility of the general human folk is to accept the prophet and to accept the revelation, to follow the revelation and to, prof uh, to follow the prophet of the time. So thank you for watching. Jazakumullahu khairan. We'll see you in one of the coming videos and the coming uh, 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 presentations in the series. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.